All right, our next element is AL, and it's number 13. So if I look over here, number 13 is right there. So that's aluminum, right? All right, let's talk about number of electron rings. So again, it's the number of period is it's how many electron rings it has. So since it's in the third period, it's got three electron rings, all right? And then valence electrons, right? How many electrons go in the outermost ring? Remember, we only count the tall column, so it goes one, two, and then since aluminum is in the third tallest column, it's got three valence electrons. Okay, all right, so let's make the atom now. So we need to first figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons it has, right? So if I look at the periodic table again, aluminum has a proton or a atomic number of 13, which gives me two things, number of protons, number of electrons, which is 13. All right, so again, I've counted out my protons. I should have 13 protons in my nucleus, and I should also have 13 right electrons that go into um, my oops, sorry, um, into my atom. So again, three of those are going to go on my my third ring because it's my valence electron. So I'm already going to point take out three and go one, two, and three. Right, so I'm going to take those three and put them over there. Now I have to fill out the rest. So I should have two that go in the very first ring, and then I should have eight that goes into the second ring, right? Again, remember when I when we talk about this, right? How do I know how many go in each ring, right? The periodic table tells you all this information, right? So again, since there's only two elements in the first period, only two electrons, one, two, should go in there. Since there's only eight electron or eight elements in the second, right? period, only eight electrons can fit in there. That's just why you cap it at eight. And then since this one has three valence electrons, there should only be three electrons in the outermost ring. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is figure out how many neutrons it has. Right? So if I look at this, right, <clears throat> um, aluminum has 27 as its mass, all right, um, which 26.98, but we're going to round that up to 27. All right, so that's remember my number of protons and neutrons. So since I already have 13 protons, 13 plus 14 makes 27. So I should have 20, 14 neutrons that fit inside the nucleus. And there you go. And that is what aluminum looks like.